Okay, guys, let's go. Can you hear me well? How are the levels? Music not too loud. My voice not too quiet. Okay. Okay, the levels are perfect. Okay, then. Well, then. As we found out last week, uh, it's not that easy to, to go through the entirety of Subnet in one sitting. It took, it took us about two and a half hours to get uh, to the middle of it. Right now we are, we are at location number 55, which is about uh, half of the subnet. But that excludes the unnumbered locations of which we've visited uh, some, I think. We, we, are, we are in one of those right now. So we took a break in the in the Paisley Park location, which is the Prince location. I have to tell you that last week, uh, la the entirety of, of, of this week, uh, I was working on new version of uh, the subnet. And right now it looks a bit different, but we are still playing on the old version. Of on the one that we are, we have started last week. And that means I had to redo uh, the walkthrough until the, the moment that we are right now at. But we have, I think we have the same items right now, which is lab key, wisdom gems and propeller blade. But all other things are uh, probably Reset. See. Can we spend like an hour playing just with with the debris? I like it. Okay. I think we've talked about the Prince location last time. to the Gemini location which is uh, opened for us that was the latest uh, the latest addition to this island because this location used to be just this uh, horizontal corridor and right now we can go up that's what we did last, last time let's just break it looks better when it's in chaos yep much better so guys once again if you want to ask me anything in the chat then do it and, and write my name and uh, so a name like this so, so I can see it. It will be easier for me to find uh, the questions. But for now let's go let's go back to the, to going through the location list that I've made already. Where are we? We've been here and that led us to to the Prince location because that gave us the weight stone. So we're going 317 right now. Correct me if I'm wrong.
uh, too close in, in those pictures. One is at what else? Definition. No, we don't have these uh, on our list, so that means we haven't been in this location yet. So here we go. 806. And another one is here. 461. One one new thing since since last week is that uh, I really I was really working hard on this project so this, this last uh, week and uh, I probably know it I I remember all the locations by now in my head but I still want to go through this uh, blindly so uh, like somebody that never never seen it before. Uh, Besides of the, the spying drones, there's nothing else, I think. Yeah, th th these were a uh, newer location, uh, newer addition as well, because they use the same, uh, they use the same uh, mechanic as the shots in, uh, in locations with uh, damaged walls. Okay. So they work the same, they just play, play this uh, little lamp over here. And play the sound, of course. But basically, basically, this is the same. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay. Moving on. Five five three is the next one. Four six one is a double clue. You're right, because we've been there. It's over here, let me mark this on my... This is a double clue, okay. Got it! It would be worth to see where is the first one. Where did the first one come from? I thought that that will be easy, I'll just look through the, the first video. Yes, uh, last week's stream and I'll find this moment right before writing this down and I'll, I'll know so this turns out to be helpful actually in not only for you in playing this game but also for me in developing uh, upcoming updates and expansions which are coming they are coming regardless of, of the Patreon goals which by the way let's say this month's goal has been met so, so we, we're going to have one one a new location this this month, that's for sure. I skipped location two three two, which was where. This one, did I skip it? Okay, let, let's take a look at 232 because uh, if you say so, they are believe you. And let's take a look. You might be right because I don't remember the Kent Falls location. But is this the same Kent Falls as the the one uh, you used or mentioned in the, in the first game? Is it? Yeah, here's the clue. A five zero. We don't have that, so we'll put it over here. That's one. Look, that's one uh, clue. Here's the theory about by Alex. Let's look at the end of it. There's another one, 731. 731 is of course the Jay's Games location. And it's derived from the game I made for Jay's Games, which was called 
Escape from Jay's games. Is it so easy? I, I don't remember. So you got new locations from 2 3 2. That's okay. Now we can go back to 553. No, there's another one. There's this. Yeah, also the shots behind it mechanical. This is from Sun Machine 7, right? The, the, the temple. Yeah, the, the music su suggests so. This. Uh, here we have a graphical error. Let me let me just mark it. Down. Not only that, but it's greatly inspired by the movie Cube, of course, especially with the moving doors, opening doors, like that. Yeah, Theor theories by Prop, and do we have anything down there? Nope. This location we just have to move. In any in any order, they just come up one after another. It doesn't matter where you go, uh, which way you go. And let's check out this uh, this uh, theory. Nope. Nothing there. And here we are. That's it. There are no clues here. Two, four, one. Let's go. Trap of the uh, of the wisdom gems because once we collect them we cannot exit this location. Theory by the spell. Oh, nothing here. Can you hear me well uh, with this music? Because it's kind of loud on my end. I think I should. Uh, uh, yeah, physically. And I minus this. We don't have an I, right? We don't. And I minus this and this is uh, this is two for one. Two, four, one. So waiting for the variable ni but it's not variable actually it's it's a it's a constant that's unknown for us at this time oh yeah i have to power up the portal again and go to 690 
I skipped 553 again. <laughs> no, did, did I? Okay, yeah, another loop. Jigs and no clue again. But we have this one, and this this is a new one. This is a new one, and we haven't seen this kind yet. So we'll have to start a new set of drawings. Let's go. It's six. This one. Do I say let's go all the time? I don't know. So the, the problem in 73 on the last stream, he was talking about music, I guess, but uh, I don't care, I don't really care about getting uh, flagged on YouTube because I don't monetize my videos, as you know, so. So I don't care if this gets... Yeah, I've seen the, the 553 skippage posts, so we'll go there right now. As it turns out, I couldn't have done this without you guys, so thank you. I would get lost immediately, probably. Oh yeah, the route. Theory by Sakuya Nako. Anything at the end? Nope. But here we go with this one. That's another one that that that's another set that we don't have because we have uh, this this kind of numbers and this one this one was solved. It gave us nine six six. We've got the the. Oval ones, we've got this uh, vertical, and now we have again horizontal but below the number. So that's the first one, it's eight. system it moves between locations uh, but we have a system to go into those locations al already so it, it, it wouldn't make any sense to go to them again using this machine I don't know that's something that, that, that still is stays unanswered maybe someday this was Five, uh, four, three, nine. Okay. This being five, five, three, right? And I've got my trusty calculator already open in another window, so let me do this quick. Five, five, three plus. 
four, three, nine. Nine, nine, two. Okay, that and that's the location. Nine, nine, two. Okay. Thank you, human collector. I've I've done this myself. <laughs> Look, see. This is my calculator. Did I, did I miss anything else? I don't think so. So we can go here. Five to nine. Five to nine. Which is out the lap. is the middle one. Yeah, double close to five five one. Yeah, I know about this. I, I remember. I think I already uh, addressed that. I also addressed the, uh, the the fake clues that guys were talking about last time. Which were uh, close uh, to locations mentioned in the theories. They are all gone by now. How did I draw? Well, you know, the submachine is long, yeah, but it took 10 years to make, so. It, it really didn't take that long to draw all of it. Believe me. down here. Oh for free and I remember this. This is the ancient ruins location. Also from a uh, submachine form. This does nothing for now. But it will do something one day. That's for sure, okay. That's the vertical one, that's the last one of the vertical one the, uh, of the verticals, and that's five, so it gives five, nine, six. Five, nine, six. Five, nine, six, okay. Cool. And let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, the Ixta location of I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's uh, it's it's this deity from the Mayan uh, religion, the, 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 the Mayan myths. Sub history theory by Mr. Eman. Or Merlin. One of the bells already does something, it's not too far fetched. Yeah, I know. And believe it or not, I changed the uh, the structure of the of those bells so my, now they can be used freely to do other things other than uh, opening the grating in uh, location 001. Let me look at the 
chat I'm looking for. I don't I don't understand this this question. is where we are so this is the clock uh, nine, 9 for 7 I mean so this is the clock to another one 9 2 3 9 2 3 so we are in the 90s we'll be going there soon everything here no There's another thing, and yeah, this is it. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, 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 which is the airplane location. We had the ship locations, and now we have the airplane. Okay, moving on. Six, fourteen. Okay. This is it, 6.14 Oh yeah, devoid Anything here? No. This is movable This does nothing As of now The theory Doesn't give us any, no That's not real. We can go to the other side, or we can go here. This is the galaxy location. This is our galaxy. And this movie shows the center of the galaxy and the uh, black hole in the center of it. I believe this this little movie is the proof that our galaxy rotates around the the uh, black hole. As probably all of them do. Yeah, so here we are. Here it is. Anything else? No. This is movable. No, nothing more. I don't think no. I would like the sound in, in this location. <laughs> I'll answer you in a moment, Jatsuko just let me change the location. Because that sound is... Terrible. Since the telescope is looking at our galaxy, does this mean that location isn't in our galaxy? Winky face. I don't think it's possible to even look at the galaxy through such equipment. As you know, from the ending of uh, Submachine 1, when we went outside and it turned out to be just a image just a painting and I would say that this telescope is looking at another painting which is situ situated somewhere in the void and that's it the subnet is, is, subnet is as, as usual screwing yeah of course it's screwing with you with me too this is broken, and here we, here we have A1, A2, which 
correlates to nothing. Okay. One equals eight, a two equals four. So let's just pretend nothing happened. Let's just keep keep scrolling through the subnet and we will see later on what does it mean. An I did we need an I? I think we did, yeah, it's over here. So NI is 842 842 minus 241 equals 601, right? Yeah, my incredible math skills. Just strikes, stri strikes again. <laughs> math, math, strikes again. Yeah, looks, looks good. So we can add it to to our list. Six oh one. I have the, the double double uh, locations. And we will avoid them. But you see this way I can I can find out where where do we have the double ones. But nobody said that going through subnet is an easy task. Even if you have to, if you want to do it by the numbers. Yeah, and here's. All oh, right, the world is quiet over here. The world is quiet. of chalk, the chalk, and here's the, the first theory, nothing there, okay, we, we came from here, yes, so we can go this way, we end up in some machine too. yeah, now let's spend half an hour playing with this thing, can try to catch all the endings and get uh, the secrets, which are which are not not here, unfortunately. <coughs> On the other side, yes, the drawing by world is quiet. That's a hypercube, I think. Yeah, yeah, we know what this is. to be a ladder here, right? Yeah. So no clues over here. More bandages. Yes, this camera is looking, still looking, and somebody needs more bandages. It's a ladder to shut down these uh, these uh, cameras. So you know, like somebody took the ladder from here and went back to blind those cameras, 
right? This one is completely destroyed. But you know what I mean, like this one, right? That's the idea of this location, I think. Let's move on to eight of six. this one and we've been here already so where was it 806 have we because this is that's the clue it's over here right so they're both uh, Doubled. Okay. Well then, moving on. So if we've been here, then we surely have also been here. Let's just look at it again. No harm in that. Seventeen, you say? Okay, that's interesting. So five five zero next. Five fifty. Who knows what time the Super Bowl is today? Will we be able to finish before that? <laughs> That was 550. And now we'll go to the also laggy JS Games location. Turn the music off for, for this location. So. Keep talking and nobody explodes, right? 
Any one of you have played this game? Wait, what's here? I know that there are two. Uh, this is the place where we use one valve. And here's the button. But we are far from getting it. That, that are locked with the right equipment once we have it. This looks like we are just going in a loop because we are going back to almost the start, almost the beginning. And after so many locations we got this clue for this location that's straight right after this one. Which also opens more possibilities. I think there are like one, two, three, yeah, three more locations from, from 001, from the lab. We are going to go there soon enough, but for now, 923. We are still in the 90s, 900s. Oh, the asylum. Remember that this location is a bit unsettling because 
It's not. It is. It is chaotic and random, but it's not completely random. There is a pattern here. And I think that's what it's what is unsettling about this location for me. That there is a method to all of this. But it's not completely random, randomized. Okay. The third one is The second one, yes, it's the second one, and it's three. So we have seven, three, eight, seven, three, eight. And this location was created, of course, from the uh, Future Lab for Foundation. Standalone game, which feature, which featured this this room, and here it is in full glory, and it's chaotic and uh, a bit crazy. Three seven eight. Are you sure? Are these clues... Uh, does it mean that these clues are wrong? So I have to change the clues, right? In this case... Okay, let me mark that and remember. I hope I remember. No, I'm not confused by the by the clues, but that but that just means that the clues are. No, I know, but uh, it's not about the order, you see. But it's about these little dots over here. And the first one was, I'm pretty sure, seven. Or maybe I'm reading them in wrong order, which is... Uh, I'll have to change them anyway, because this, 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 this pattern clearly says to me that this is the first one. This is the second, and this is the third. And as it is right now, is that this one is the first one, this one is the second, and this is the third one, right? That's what is confusing me here. And I think this, I, I think my first uh, impression of this pattern shows that it should be one, two, three. It should go like this. What do you think, guys? And here's the here's my reason because when you get this, for example, this set of hints, then you go from left to right, okay? When you have this, then you go easy one, two, three, right? And this one. It's just a bit skewed and it should play the same. One, two, three. I'll change that for sure. That's going on a chopping block tomorrow in the morning once I start working on this again. So it's 378. Uh, three, seven, yes. Three. Seven, eight. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, it is a bit ambiguous, but... Um, I have to go with my gut with this one. This is how I read it, and and I think that's how most people would re re read it. Yeah, that's why I'm replaying it actually, because I haven't done this b before the release. <laughs> so I'm kind of covering my tracks over here. Uh, believe me, I found so many little things to, to change during this week that you wouldn't believe. Okay, we're done here. 777. <coughs> I see we are going close to the end of my my list of locations that we know already. We will have to soldier on from then, from 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 the end. Seven seven seven. There's another clue, fortunately. Submarine, actual submarine. Okay, RI. We've got RI, which is somewhere. Was somewhere? No, it was nowhere. We don't have it anywhere. Then let's. A hundred fifty-two. Right? No, three hundred fifty-two. Right? Three hundred fifty-two. But to be sure, I've got my handy converter over here, and we'll just yep, three hundred fifty-two. Well, that's the idea to make this entertaining. from left to right or from top to bottom so I have to change that I have to change that the spherical ones the oval ones and do we have a movie over here we do well, that, that's that's nothing else kind of theory by the most original name in all of fandom, submachine fandom. And there's nothing here. Yeah, I know, 352 is, is not a location, it's, it's a constant. R I or R or I. How would you want to spell it? I didn't put it in the locations uh, list. Okay, six seven two. This one is location that it's, it's breaking apart before our eyes. Let me grab another sheet of paper. My 
minus, where are we? Seven, six, seven, two. And six, no, no, I'll, I'll just put it in. Five, five, five. We don't have that, I don't think. Okay, then let's open the lab. Let's go back to the beginning. Started. This is change in the new version. This is the symbol says something. We'll see in a couple of days. Next week for sure. Another update. We've just opened the grating and we've almost opened the door to Christmas location. Here's the valve. 316, that's another. Just years ago, and I never knew what to do with them. 
because they were so different and at the same time they were so so fitting into so much and so we decided to do wait for the way. So I decided to create this double location, this meeting of two different worlds, two different uh, color schemes. One, one corresponds to this one, and the other one corresponds to this uh, color palette. And that's how I solved this problem. And also, don't you worry, I see this plaque over here, I see this, and I know what it is. is the entrance to the portal location. But for now let's go back to the to the lab. We have the machine will tell us another one six six thirteen. Six thirteen. adventure time actually and uh, my little pony is uh, my daughter's watch it so I just watched watch that watched, watched that with them I can uh, I can see the quality in, in animation but they're a bit too loud for me and the, the stories are too simple key does it does it is a pyramid key but it doesn't refer to this this pyramid right because it's used in another one yeah nothing here but here's the clue b1 and b2 jesus christ i won't be able to solve this with those numbers where's the page with one so B1 equals 5, B2 equals 7, and these kind of correspond, right? This, this is somehow connected, I think. I don't remember. But here's another karma portal over here. Let's go there. comments on this one. I'm not saying anything. And we have a picture made by Carolita Villada. This kind of looks like some machine. A bit. And another karma portal. But it's it's a simple thing. You just come to this uh, uh, one room location. That's it. Five. Is it another loop? I honestly don't remember. Wow, <laughs> this music. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's the personification of a loop. 
and it's and in its purest form and also the smallest one as well on the two rows looking forever let's oh yeah sunshine bunny girl Eight three seven. Hmm. Who wants to? Who, okay, let, let's take a quick vote. Who wants me to turn on this machine? Vote now. I look through this location and and, and see you. Voice it, see your boats in the end. C1 and C2. But those number stations just completely freak me out. This is some next level shit. Let's, okay, you want me to, to pull it? Okay, here we go. Ready? Hear me now because we are being. Uh, what do you say? We're being blocked by the number station. But now we're going to 316. Another Christmas location. This is my uh, backyard next to my house. Covered in snow. Those pictures were actually taken very. I don't. I think that was on the on the Christmas Eve. That's when they were taken. That's from our uh, Christmas Eve uh, table. Just some uh, candles and six snowballs. That's also next to my uh, house, actually. There was a time before the climate change when we had this kind of this amount of snow for for the uh, Christmas. Right now, it's mostly raining. Since I don't know, a few years ago, it's it's rain and not snow, which is kind of sad. We are approaching to the end of the list and we'll have to try we'll have to try to improvise from there. Yeah, we opened this, right? We've opened this before in the first the first um, episode uh, a week ago, the first stream. So it's already opened. You know what happens now. This is naturally the main theme from Portal. I don't, it, 
it's not meant to be, that's the ending song, right? So this is the ending song from Portal and uh, you probably do not know this but this, this was recorded by the same guy who made uh, music for Daimler Towns from 3 and 4 Alexei Wojtenko who I asked him to, to create something based on the original song and he did this and, it's, and it fits perfectly yeah half-life 3 confirmed of course is this the end 6 13 the other side of the void and we have a theory from into the void <laughs> anything at the bottom nope so we've been here on the other side and now we are here and there's nothing more I don't think so no, that's Ah, uh, yeah. 157. Almost, almost forgot about this one. Okay, so that's. This one is the last one for now. 157. Getting to the end of the subnet. 
the old ending, the original ending to line one. Good feeling about this one, yeah. He did have a good thing about this one, and then he went and shot everybody. This one is this one. Yeah, it's this one. Sorry. Two nine one. Go stop it. I'm just spewing nonsense. Please don't help my word. Please don't help me to anything I say in these streams. Mountain, the jumper. Yeah. This is a sad location. It's the same music as in the uh, Jay's games, so we're going here immediately so I believe my list has ended but this was done Those were actually locations. I can see by now that 173 is not a location. I don't think. Or maybe it is. It is or it's not. either how do you fancy seeing me struggling with the portal and portal denies me locations oh, we've been here yeah. somebody left it on so that was a location but we've already been here and 472 I don't we could get into. I believe that it is not the location. Oh, oh, it is. It is. It's another uh, number station. So we got two number stations in some machine. Rip plus key. You think? How does it go?
C1, right? So it's 8, 1, 9, and A2, B2, and C2, which is 4, 7, 2. Let's just check this theory before I put it on the list. 8, 1, 9.
so that gives us nothing. But I think that was that this this complicated uh, mathematics, this complicated uh, equation was was the end of the first subnet, right? The one in 2010, the first iteration. Because it's so complicated, it's much more complicated than the other ones. And that's why it, 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 it was the, the, let's say, the final boss of that installment. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember about the, uh, about the items, don't worry. We'll get there soon enough, but we still have uh, 472 to visit. Officially, out of hints. Okay, this one, this this goes. I don't know where it, where it goes, but how to get there? Get to the Lovecraft location, anyone? I, I know, okay, okay. You take that back. That's from the Jay's Games location as well. So let's. Which was. Keep relates to. Okay. And here is the part. 
the shutter switch, okay. So, so it's not technically the button but it's the shutter switch. And it's getting used here. And we have another one. Wait. That's here it is. Yeah, yeah, I threw all this out. Let's let's make a quick dash for seven frame for the music. Aiden Wiley and his representations of the hypercubes in the submachine. This all always looked to me like some petri dish, which makes it funnier that somebody's looking at the submachine through the petri dish. Okay, now we have to get out of here. starting location so we have been there so we can go there right now because as you can see my memory ser serves me well because this is the place where we use the copper plate <coughs> the ladder comes down and we go to the my little pony location <coughs> it was already used seven seventy yeah that was used already so I think we've gone through all the clues Three locations that don't have any clues to them, you just have to kind of find them by yourself. One of them is the last location. Glory right here. Well, 
the first couple hundred numbers at least. statue at the end of Submachine 4, which was representing Mortal in some way, because he had no arm. So is this it? Did we go through everything? The circle god, yeah, as I said, it's just the, the twin brother of, of the, the other god, the god from... from Submachine for. But I think that's it. That's all that we know by now, for now. kind of fitting that we are reaching the end. Okay, so the big question, did we go everywhere? Did we see all of it? Anyone? I-99 is not the location that I'm sure of. But, of course we can check it. Who is the lady statue in this town in Sub 9? The one that we moved to go lower, right? As the one you're talking about? Because that's clearly Liz. You meant the one with the spread arms, like in the, the pose. Sub 9 menu, let's see. This figure was in Subnet. It is not. I thought it was. I put it somewhere. I thought I put it somewhere. No, no, no. It 
that's not Liz's sister. She doesn't have a sister. At least that we know of. Stands, have we seen everything? Seventy six locations, but we are, you, you are not listing the ones that are uh, accessible through the Karma portal, right? Altogether, we have 103 locations, which means that there are 27 unnamed locations. <sighs> Any future plans for the chalk and the probability? Yes, I have future plans for both of those uh, items. The chalk will probably be used in some kind of chemical puzzle, and the propeller blade. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, so I, won't, I won't say anything. But uh, yes, it will be used as well. Okay, but have we seen 27 Karma Portal locations? I think we have. I think we have. So this one ended quick quicker than I expected. We are only about two hours in. My daughter, or daughters, because I've got two of them, now of Submachine and Daymar, they, yeah, they know, they know that I create games, they don't play them, but they recognize my drawings, and they also recognize my coming books, they see that daddy drew those, but they find it funny that I can show them, that I can do something and show them that it works in a game. For example, I was, when I was creating, uh, or where is 2017 with the little uh, Santa? Uh, she was looking at uh, the game maker software and she was seeing what I'm doing there. And then I showed her the game, and that was kind of funny to them. I get a lot of props probably from them. Submachine one ten dev commentary. Yeah, I th I was thinking about this, and uh, but I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, something we should pursue. I'm not sure if that's uh, if that if that's that would be interesting because that's uh, that's ten live streams and I don't know if that's two months or more, two and a half months. We'll see. I was thinking about something else and I don't know if you guys uh, what would you think about this? Because I have, uh, I still haven't played. Uh, I still uh, new, the newest game from Amanita. You know what? Let's change the music. Since. Since we are done with the subnet, we are done. I think so. Then uh, this is over. Let's just talk for a little bit. I'll, I'll answer some more questions, but let's listen to some other music. And we'll actually listen to the music that was so fine 
two weeks ago. You take a sound, any sound, which is record this it, and then change its nature by a multiplicity of operations. Wait, record it let me finish one, one thought. Uh, the latest and game from uh, over and over again. from Amanita Design, which is Samor Samorost Free, qualities, which I haven't played before. I haven't played it, and I'm thinking about playing it on stream. But I don't know if you guys are up for something like this or not. If you'd like to see this or not. Is the karma portal actually purple in this room? <coughs> yes, it is. It is purple in this room. That's confirmed. I'm not sure about the Summer Rust Free, I'm not sure if I'm, I, I, I will be able to uh, stream it because I'm, uh, I, I'm not sure how uh, my uh, system will uh, work with uh, something else than just showing flash on screen. We'll see. I don't know if, if I have a powerful uh, machine right now. One question about the ending of Submachine 10, the two crescent moons. I think this relates to be, this is, this is more likely alternate earth, not another planet. This probably means another uh, layer. Will the remastered submachine come out on Steam and will the submachine universe soundtrack be? I don't think so because uh, this soundtrack, the, the soundtrack I used for submachine universe, these are free on, these are obtainable free online. I was able to sell the soundtrack on submachines only because uh, it was created by, as you know, the Thumbpunks and they, they told me I can do it. But I ca but again, uh, I can't get uh, an okay from everybody that, that created music that is in Submachine Universe, I can't sell it. It won't be sellable, it won't be purchasable. Never. I don't think so. But will the remastered Submachine come out? Yeah, if, if I do remaster the Submachine, then it surely will be in the, within intent of putting it on Steam. That's for sure. Have I heard of the music artist Pogo? No, I haven't. What another career or works you thought before being a game creator? Well, I first of all, I'm I'm a comic book creator, artist or writer. So that was the. Uh, idea from the early childhood to become a famous comic book artist but unfortunately right here in Poland almost nobody cares about comic books so so there so I had to rebrand myself to, to games which for me is a very similar medium medium to comic books I've said it before and it's written in my bio and that's common knowledge How am I? I'm fine, thank you very much. And how are you guys tonight? And look, we've wrapped up just before the kickoff of the uh, Super Bowl. If any one of you are going to watch this, then good luck to your team, I guess. I don't know.
Do I have more thoughts on our stream? With Jatsko? Well, no, it will happen. I, I think it will happen soon enough. Uh, I don't know if, if ne next week is okay, but... Uh, but we'll get there. Thank you guys for your submissions and for your help during this, pl uh, this playthrough. As I said before, I wouldn't be able to do it without you, probably. Well, I would, but I, I would miss some crucial points and crucial hints. for the next update of the uh, subnet of the submachine universe which will come out this week that was a big overhaul I don't want to say anything else because I want you to be kind of uh, I don't want to spoil the surprise of what happened but it looks a bit different from what we've seen today it looks a bit different plays a bit different differently and you'll see what I mean soon enough. Yeah I'm low key famous and I like this like it this way. Nobody knows who I am actually and I can move freely through the world wherever I go. I can go with my camera and do and create new uh, gnomes games for example nobody knows what I'm doing. That's okay. Does it involve changing the game mechanics drastically? No, it, it does not, but uh, everything got new coat of paint, let's say. Uh, I, ch I changed some mechanics. But basically it works almost the same. And there are some new things as well, not only location-wise. About fanfic in about submachine. Well, yeah, sure. If somebody wants to write it, then I can stop it. So go for it. I would discourage create re recreating submachines in 3D because that that's not a good idea. And not only because I want to do it myself in some time, because I'm not sure if I want to. Because uh, Let's be honest, the submachines and Daymatown are basically uh, uh, such recognizable brands because of the drawings and while recreating it in 3D it would lose all the original uh, drawing style. What's the earliest memory of developing submachine that I have? I don't have a memory of developing submachine, that was 2000, 2005, but I do remember the day that it went viral. And that was an insane day for me. I remember very vividly when I was just sitting there and my head was getting blown up every 15 minutes refreshing the forums, the comments, everything. And that was really, really strange uh, 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 process, process to see. I had, a, I had a, this, this uh, feeling that from now on everything will change. And it kind of did. But then again, it, everything stayed the same. And we are 12 years later and we are still talking about some machine. We are still, still doing it. And we are still talking about recreating it for for Steam. I think once it goes to Steam, then it will be the final version of the submachines. I hope. Or maybe by then something else, so something will happen, and Steam will not, not no longer be irrelevant, and 
and then you make another version. However, this this online version all will, uh, will stay uh, probably forever online. I will not put it away. Just as the the old uh, online version of the subnet is still up there. It's now obsolete, but but who cares? It's just preserving the old ways of things of games. I don't like uh, the, the the Latin games from 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 existence. For example, let's let's talk about about pastel games for a minute. If I didn't know that all of the pastel games are on the other websites like Newgrounds or or Congregate, then I would still host them. But I know that they're out there, so there's no harm in me uh, removing them from my website. Will the Steam version United Submachine One Ten? You mean like will they all come in one game? <coughs> yes. Yes, that that otherwise there, there wouldn't be any point in making it. I can't make Submachine One and, and then release it on, on stream because they will laugh me out of the room. But there's another thing that because before recreating Submachine One through Ten to Steam, I think there should be a new game, a new Submachine game. The sub, not only I'm creating my big game, but I wanna, like you know, make my name, let's say, on the on the Steam. Uh, uh, to debut with something, some new material. I think that Submachine should also be uh, presented on Steam as w with the new game, not only the, the old rehashed ones, but a completely new game. And this new game will surely be Submachine the Engine. Because this game is happening, I don't know when, but it is. And I like the sound of it. I, I like the sound of of uh, of its title. It kind of rhymes and kind of kind of follows the tongue, and and it's and it's just nice all around. Submachine the engine. So so the, the, the submachine the engine confirmed. What do you think about fanfics or stories inspired on the, my games? I said before, uh, it's okay, you can, you can create fanfics, but, uh, but that's it, it's okay. It's like poetry, it rhymes, yeah, exactly. I see that you watch too much uh, Red Letter Media as me, as myself. Guys, anything else? Any questions left? I would like to show you what's new in the subnet, but um, I'm not doing it. Not before releasing it. I was debating it with myself today. Should I show you the new version or should I stick with the old one? And, and I decided to show you the old one because the new one is different just this did I see the R5 mod to the idea of some machine I've seen something but I don't know if this it's the one you're talking about yes young boy you can hit me up with some music for a location that's no problem Show me what you've got. You can email me at this address. Half-Life to Earth. 
Apis, I don't think. I, I don't remember. If you're talking about those two short movies uh, on YouTube, then I've seen them. But if you're talking about some actual game that looks kind of like some machine, then I, I haven't seen it. How many idea ideas on the submission history you scrap? You know, this is this is this question is kind of kind of hard to answer because to scrap an idea I would have to write it down first or, or make it happen somewhere or, or, or you know analogy that uh, that is that is idea. But that's not how I work. Just like I don't write down ideas until they are the exact ideas that I'm going to use. You see what I'm talking about? Because there's a chaos in my head, and once in a while something pops out, and I'm I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to figure out if it's, if this is okay or not. But if it's not, then it then goes back into the chaos, and if it's okay, then it goes to the sheet of paper and it's written down and then that's an official idea and, and I just go with it. So there is not much material that I could, you know, scrap actually. How, how hard programming a karma portal is? You mean the this one? This programming this asset and it's, it's disappearing and, and rotating and all of it that's very basic that's not hard at all show you how to code it. Maybe not today, but, but we can we can arrange a, a stream that in, in which I'm let's say talking about how to code in Flash but is that is it is it reasonable? I know What's the one thing you I've had hard times programming? Well, all of it actually at, at the same time. I, d I don't. There were some. There were some uh, moments that I was stumped for a minute, but um, that's the challenge to to have an idea to uh, to think thing to imagine a puzzle and then just try to make it happen by now I'm kind of fluent in in creating such content so I don't see any problems right now I'm sure there will be pro problems once I start <coughs> transferring my uh, you know the float engine to game maker which I haven't done yet only in its bare bones uh, which were used in uh, 10 gnomes games last year which was created in uh, in game maker already and it it is kind of point and click game you know you go through the locations and find gnomes but i can see problems with creating uh the inventory but we'll see we'll see kickoff in 20 20 minutes okay but i'm not watching it i'm just i'm just you know I'm not watching Super Bowl, but I know that some of you might want to. And we'll f so 6:30, right? Okay, we'll finish then.
I'm wondering how much of subnet history do you have in your head and how much of that you've shown. I don't know. As I said before, the ideas that are already shown are all the ideas that actually exist right now about submachine, right? If I have another one, then I'll create it and it will be also out and, and so on and so forth. I will have like, like let's say, a master plan in which I have uh, listed all ideas for the subnet and I'm crossing out the, uh, the done. Uh, those that I already created and, and, and you know, there's so, some more, nothing like that. It's all created on the fly, just like my uh, comic books. Did I intend on making a huge story of Submachine from the start? No. This has indeed been answered before. I've said this many times, many times, many, many times before. <clears throat> the first Submachine was a standalone game and there was nothing beyond that. But the, but the success that this game received uh, pushed me to creating more, the second one, third one, and so on, and so on, and so on. One of my older forum posts might have suggested otherwise that I have a big story in my head. <coughs> Last week somebody asked, asked uh, <coughs> when did I know the ending of the submachine and I said I, that it was like around submachine 8 or 9, so very, very late in the series, in the series. but uh, but that's it, I don't have ideas right now on, on, on what's going to be next. If we are talking for example about Submachine the Engine, I have n no idea or no clue what's going to be in this game. And we also, let's remember, last time we also uh, <coughs> thought about creating a game called Submachine, the explorers was it Jatsko? The, ex the explorers or which uh, which would be about the the explorer teams that that roam, roamed Submachine long time ago. So you see those those ideas come and go and but I have nothing else than than the name for it right now on both of those games. <coughs> neither neither uh, the engine or the explorers are set. Don't have any ideas for it, how it should look like. Why is there no speed stream? Because uh, I kind of... I was working very hard in entire uh, January and I also work hard right now and I, I simply don't have time to do it and I I kind of find it redundant 
so I don't wanna do it. Am I being lazy? I don't know. It's not about being lazy, but it's about... Um, I don't see point in making speed streams anymore. I've done them. I've done them uh, for the entire year last year. And that was that was another uh, experiment, and it kind of ended. And now we are here. And this is this year's experiment is for let's say creating uh, streams when I talk to you. Any reason the Karma Portal design changed with sub -ten. Did it? Did it change? If it did, then it's just a technical update. That's nothing more. From what point on did you know you were going to make 10 in total? Actually, that can be found probably somewhere on the forums because we are talking about Submachine X, the exit uh, around Submachine 6, I guess. You want to do a serious wiki page about what about explorers? Yeah. If I'm if I'm to make more games, then Submachine the Engine is the first one, and Submachine Explorers is the the next one. Imagine unlockable level list in Submachine Steam version one ten episode and extra episodes. Unlockable level list? I don't I don't understand. That level list would never happen because <coughs> if I were to do a Submachine Steam version, I would create an overworld that would be like going through a location. It would just enter different portals and doors to get to more games. For example, when you finish, let's say, you are in this on the overworld, everything is closed, right? And you have just one portal. You go through it. And you end up in Submachine 1. You go through Submachine 1, you finish it, and you end up with Wisdom Gem, right? So you finish this game, and you come back to the overworld, and you have a place to put the gem, and that opens Submachine 2. That's just the loose idea because you need this gem. You, you, you need this wisdom gem in Submachine to to play this game, but but you get my drift. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. It would never be you know some like some boring list of Submachine One, Submachine Two, Submachine Three. No no no. It would have to be created like a, a another location. Submachine the farm was, I think that was uh, a joke. Because I remember it stemmed out of a uh, discussion about the uh, food that is presented at the beginning of, sub of, of Subnet, right? It all was because of this sandwich. That was the the source of some machine deform, if I remember correctly. Submachine the sewers, I don't think so. I've been going through sewers in in the subnet, and that's that's one of the most tiring locations actually. Those sewers from Submachine Two. I don't think I'm revisiting it any anytime soon. 
and also if I'm recreating submachines for for Steam, they will be different. These will not be the same games that you have in Flash. So I think that that sewer section in Submachine 2 would have to be changed some, somehow. Because it, it is tiring. It's, it's not fun going there. It's, it never was. Even before I uh, added some light to it. Because at, at, the, at the beginning it was all very dark and it was even more tiresome. when you will collect all secrets in Submachine to achievement level list will unlock Submachine 0. Well, yeah, something like that, perhaps, yeah. How about the player makes a map as you go through it? Well, yes, that is doable, but you would have to have a map of all the locations. It is also doable, but uh, as I said before, that's a couple years from now and who knows what will I be able to do by then? So you know, it's, it's hard to tell right now about the design choices that I will make in two years. Will I implement the karmic water or light from mechanism in subnet? Hmm, that is a good question. And I don't see why not. But I, 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 I would also like to create something, some, something new, some new uh, mechanisms. But again, I don't think that I will be introducing anything new uh, in the Flash version. The, the, the new version that you'll get this week is the probably the last big update of mechanics in, in Submachine Universe. If you're going to get something more into it, it will be just simple locations and, and hints to get to them and, and that's it. If I was to create new mechanisms, um, that would be, that would have to wait for the uh, Steam version. Why not include the sketch version like an easter egg, because that would break the immersion, in my opinion. I never liked uh, including games where like the bonus material was including sketches or <coughs> early, early, you know, locations or anything like that, because that completely breaks the immersion for me. Uh, just like like I never watch, you know, when you have DVD extras and you have uh, how this, how some movie was made. I never watched this because I, I completely breaks apart the movie for me. I don't want to see, you know, when I watch Matrix, The Matrix, I don't want to see Neo on uh, uh, on strings and on a on a green screen. I don't want to see it. I don't need to see it. It's just, it's just odd. I don't. Want, I just want to see the fi the finished movie. Mysterious item from that stream. No, that that's still on hold. That's that that uh, mysterious item. That karma bow. Do I plan? To make anything more with covered covered front, the submachine reference at the end. No, not really. There is a moment that you just have to let go of some ideas and no, not not pursue them anymore. And I think that's one of them. I don't I don't want I don't ha I don't want to know everything. I also don't want to tell you everything, if you know what I mean. I, don't, I, I want you to 
fill in the gaps. Here's a clue for another location, perhaps. Why not purpose a game engine with, with asset to create? A, uh, you'd have to know how to create games in, uh, in Flash. Also, you'd have to move fluently in my writing, in my in my action script writing. If you're talking about uh, a a room creator, like let's say like they did in uh, Mario Maker when, when you just create levels and you go and you play as Mario that's way over my head I, I, I wouldn't be able to create such a thing that's too complicated Yeah, I, I was thinking about creating Submotion Maker because I think that would be actually even more popular than the games itself. To create Submotion Maker that you could create your own levels and post them somewhere and someone else could play it. But it's I'm not that good in uh, coding, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe once I know my games on Steam and, and it, it goes well, I'll be able to to hire some studio to create uh, such a submachine creator. That was, that, I, I was thinking about this for the longest time, for a few years at least. Yeah, submachine degenerator, yes. For now we have to stick with submachine de-engine. What game are you? What game are you waiting on this? What? What game are you waiting on this game? Please rephrase that because I don't understand what you are talking about. What about some machine HTML5? What about it? game to play well I'm still waiting for uh, Fallout New Orleans yeah exactly I'm waiting for Fallout New Fallout if, if it will happen I will be the happiest man alive other than that I'm, I'm playing Doom right now well, not for the last two weeks, but uh, I've been playing it. And uh, I don't know what's coming up this year, actually. I know I'm waiting for movies, but games? I'm, I'm not sure what's, co what's coming out. Yeah. Fallout location is a machine. That's a good idea. I, I think we will get there one day. Do I watch Doctor Who? No, I don't. But I watched Westworld, which was amazing. Okay guys, let's let's wrap this up. We've been two and a half hours already. The uh, Super Bowl is kicking off. I think it's good time to finish this stream for today. I will see you all next week.